arguing and debating yeah. meaning of things. For me, it's however people are using the word, that's the meaning. I, I'm, I'm, okay. I, I concede that. Well, we concede those things. By the way, it's things. why I don't call myself an atheist. Uh, the comment known as Oumuamua, Hawaiian for visitor from afar, sailed through our solar system in 2017. On its first arrival to Earth, scientists and astronomers were caught completely off guard by what would soon become one of the most widely documented alien invasions in modern history. Although the space probe was evidently strange, it wasn't until it left that we realized that we might have missed the most direct extraterrestrial interactions in centuries. Now, terrifying revelations about Oumuamua have been publicly announced by Joe Rogan, popular host of the Joe Rogan Experience, with support from renowned scientist Neil deGrasse Tyson. Why is this mysterious interstellar visitor now heading back towards Earth? And what implications does it hold for the future of humanity? Let's find out. In September 1999, scientists made a remarkable and somewhat unsettling discovery that had a profound impact on our understanding of the universe. They identified a massive asteroid known as 101955 Bennu, which posed a major threat to our planet. DART really is just the start. It's just the first planetary defense test mission. It was spectacular and it's accomplished and we'll figure out how effective it was. That's really what we're gonna learn in the next weeks to come. The news was a mix of both bad and good. The bad news was that if this near-Earth asteroid were to collide with our planet, it would cause devastating consequences. However, the good news is that NASA scientists have determined that Bennu's closest approach to Earth is most likely to occur on September 24, 2182, giving us ample time to prepare. While the year 2182 may seem distant, the strange interstellar messenger that first spied on Earth in 2017. When Oumuamua was first observed in 2017, it captured the attention of many, including Joe Rogan. Well, if I was going to mask my spaceship to fly through the galaxy, I would definitely make it look like a big rock. Yeah, like a big yeah. asteroid. In the buzz of the moment, Rogan invited the renowned Israeli-American theoretical physicist Avi Loeb to come break down things for his audience and provide a well-informed perspective on the matter. Now, the situation has taken a more alarming turn with the recent announcement by Neil deGrasse Tyson, a highly respected scientist. Tyson revealed that Oumuamua is now on a trajectory back to Earth, and its movements appear to be more forceful this time. As Tyson resurfaces with additional revelations, he cautions that Oumuamua is far more mysterious than we initially believed. Before we delve into the astonishing insights shared by Joe Rogan and Neil deGrasse Tyson, let us first introduce you to the groundbreaking discovery of Oumuamua. Scientific discoveries are transformative breakthroughs that revolutionize our perception of the world, altering the course of human progress. They reveal the invisible forces that govern the cosmos, shedding light on celestial phenomena, subatomic particles, and the origins of life itself. Was exactly the case on October 19, 2017, when the Panoramic Survey Telescope and Rapid Response System, PanSTARRS-1, captured a glimpse of a mysterious visitor as it wandered through our solar system. The PanSTARRS-1 telescope, funded by NASA's Near-Earth Object Observations NEO, program and owned by the University of Hawaii, boasts the world's largest astronomical camera equipped with an impressive 1.4 billion pixels. Its purpose is to diligently scan the skies, monitoring celestial objects that demonstrate movement or changes in brightness including potential asteroid and comet threats to our planet. Little did astronomers know that this vigilant watchfulness would lead to the discovery of an interstellar enigma known as Oumuamua. Astronomers had speculated for years about the existence of interstellar objects like Oumuamua, but their ideas remained mostly theoretical until this peculiar visitor arrived. In November 2017, Thomas Zerbachen, an associate administrator for NASA's Science Mission Directorate, accurately stated, For decades we've theorized that such interstellar objects are out there, and now, for the first time, we have direct evidence they exist. Oumuamua stood out from other known space objects due to its astonishing speed. 
traveling at an incredible velocity of around 25,000 miles or 40,000 kilometers per hour. It already surpassed other celestial bodies within our solar system. However, the most intriguing aspect of Oumuamua's journey was yet to be revealed. On September 9, 2017, Oumuamua successfully executed a slingshot maneuver around the sun, hurtling at an astonishing speed of 196,000 miles per hour. To put it into perspective, that's equivalent to about 28.5 thousand feet, or 87.3 kilometers per second. Or pan stars detect a mysterious object traveling at high speed through our solar system. This mind-boggling velocity raised numerous questions and left little room for doubt as it was observed firsthand. The initial sighting of Oumuamua prompted space agencies worldwide to hastily aim their telescopes to scrutinize the orbit, brightness, and color of this mysterious object. Even the ESO's very large telescope in Chile joined the investigation as researchers delved into the peculiarities of Oumuamua. Meanwhile, Astronomers at the SETI Institute began listening for any potential radio transmissions from the object. One might wonder why this interstellar visitor is called Oumuamua. It certainly didn't arrive in our solar system with its name boldly inscribed upon its surface. Instead, the astronomers who discovered it named it Oumuamua, derived from Hawaiian origins, meaning visitor from afar. This name conveys the immense distance this mysterious object has traveled. Yet, the object's appearance also captivated astronomers' attention. Close observations revealed that Oumuamua had an elongated, rocky, cigar-shaped form adorned with a reddish hue. Furthermore, meticulous measurements disclosed that Oumuamua stretched about a quarter of a mile or 0.4 kilometers in length, a staggering 400 miles or 643.7 kilometers. Astonishingly elongated, its length was roughly 10 times greater than its width. This unusual appearance sharply contrasted with the predominantly spherical space objects prevalent within our solar system. It was just one piece of the puzzle that further shrouded Oumuamua's identity in mystery. What other distinctive attributes did Oumuamua possess? From its outward appearance, Oumuamua presented itself as a rocky object traversing the vastness of interstellar space which immediately captured the attention of astronomers. However, what truly piqued their curiosity were the peculiar features exhibited by this interstellar visitor. Oumuamua has been making waves since its discovery due to its remarkable characteristics, starting with its extraordinary velocity. When it sped past the sun, it achieved a velocity that had previously existed only in the realm of fiction, captivating astronomers and enthusiasts alike. But Umamua's velocity is not the only noteworthy aspect of its movement. Upon closer examination, scientists observed a baffling phenomenon. Umuamua seemed unaffected by the gravitational pull of the sun, exhibiting what appeared to be a non-gravitational acceleration. Astonishingly, it effortlessly altered its trajectory while passing by the sun, seemingly defying the laws of gravity. Imagine the scene, scientists eagerly observing as Oumuamua embarked on its swift journey past the sun, anticipating that it would obediently follow the expected course dictated by the sun's gravitational force. However, to their astonishment, Oumuamua deviated slightly, veering off its path by a minuscule fraction while simultaneously accelerating. Such an unexpected shift in trajectory could only be attributed to an external force. But the question remains, what could possibly account for this intriguing effect? In addition to its anomalous movements, Oumuamua boasted a distinctive shape, standing out not only due to its unconventional appearance, but also due to its elongated cigar-like form. This shape is highly unusual for celestial bodies in our solar system, which are typically more rounded or irregular in shape. The elongated shape of Oumuamua sparked speculation about its possible origins and composition. Some scientists proposed that it could be a fragment from a larger object, while others speculated that it could be a product of natural processes within other star systems. While Oumuamua's true nature and origin remain a subject of debate and speculation, scientists have put forward various hypotheses to explain its unique characteristics. 
One possibility is that Oumuamua is a fragment of a larger object, perhaps a comet or asteroid, that was ejected from its home star system and sent on a journey through interstellar space. Another hypothesis suggests that Oumuamua could be a cosmic dust bunny, a loosely bound aggregate of dust and ice particles that formed in the interstellar medium. There is also the intriguing possibility that Oumuamua could be an artificial object, such as a defunct spacecraft or probe from an extraterrestrial civilization. However, this hypothesis is highly speculative and lacks any concrete evidence. Unfortunately, due to the limitations of our current technology, scientists were unable to gather detailed data about Oumuamua before it disappeared from view. Its fleeting visit through our solar system lasted only a few months, and it is now far beyond the reach of our telescopes. Therefore, the enigma of Oumuamua may remain unsolved unless we encounter similar interstellar objects in the future or develop more advanced observational capabilities. Oumuamua's arrival in our solar system marked a significant milestone in our exploration of the cosmos. It provided compelling evidence that interstellar objects can indeed visit our neighborhood and raised intriguing questions about the nature of these objects and their origins. As we continue to study the mysteries of the universe, Discoveries like Oumuamua remind us of the vastness and complexity of the cosmos that await further exploration and unraveling. Now, to properly understand why Neil deGrasse Tyson believes Oumuamua isn't what we were made to believe. There are a few details that we knew way before now that we didn't consider. Where did Oumuamua come from? Scientists are still grappling with the mystery of the strange cosmic traveler, which has sparked a multitude of questions. While its interstellar nature is undeniable, its origin remains one of the greatest scientific mysteries of our time. Initially, experts believe that Oumuamua may have come from Vega, a brilliantly bright star in the constellation of Lyra. Vega is known to have debris disks, making it a possible source for Oumuamua. If this hypothesis were true, Oumuamua's journey to our solar system would have taken an astonishing 600,000 years. However, recent developments have challenged the Vega theory. A change in trajectory has debunked the notion that Oumuamua originated from Vega, redirecting our attention to other possibilities. The range of options is vast, with some suggesting that Oumuamua may have been traveling through our galaxy for billions of years, covering a distance of over 20,000 star systems. While this may sound like an immense time frame, it is relatively short compared to the estimated age of our galaxy, which is around 10 billion years old and contains a staggering 200 billion stars. Astronomers believe that Oumuamua's encounter with our solar system might be its first interaction with a new star system, considering the duration of its journey through space. This hypothesis is supported by its movement past the Sun at a speed similar to neighboring stars. To investigate the origin of Oumuamua, scientists have meticulously traced its trajectory back to a time before it entered our solar system. Corinne Baylor-Jones of the Max Planck Institute for Astronomy undertook the challenging task of comparing Oumuamua's path with the previous positions of approximately 7 million stars. By analyzing data from the Gaia spacecraft, which has meticulously tracked these stars, Baylor-Jones reconstructed their orbits and looked for intersections or similarities with Oumuamua's trajectory. This exhaustive investigation identified four promising candidates, each with paths closely resembling Oumuamua's rewound track. While one of these candidates is believed to be Oumuamua's home, definitively determining its origin remains a complex challenge. During his investigation, Baylor Jones made an intriguing discovery. He found that Oumuamua's course aligned with a region between 1 to 2 Oort cloud radii, or 100,000 to 200,000 astronomical units, AU. The encounter velocities between Oumuamua and each of the potential origin candidates were remarkably high, ranging from 6 to 16 miles per hour, posing a perplexing puzzle for scientists. Some researchers have proposed that Oumuamua could be a planetesimal, a building block expelled during the early stages of a planet's formation. However, achieving such high ejection velocities solely through encounters with larger planets is highly unlikely, though not entirely impossible. Another possibility is that Oumuamua originated from a binary star system, 
which could explain its substantial velocity. However, none of the four most likely candidates for Oumuamua's origin are binary stars, adding further complexity to the puzzle. The quest to uncover Oumuamua's true origin continues, with the hope that future releases of Gaia data will provide more information about this cosmic riddle. Additional data from Gaia will allow astronomers to refine their search for the celestial traveler's birthplace, as it will offer further insights into the motions of neighboring stars, potentially leading to more conclusive results. What was the biggest revelation about Oumuamua before the recent terrifying observation? No matter where it came from, the big question remains. What caused Oumuamua to travel through space and away from its original location? Scientists have put forward a few possibilities to explain its swift journey. One idea suggests that Oumuamua was formed through a collision between two cosmic bodies. Another theory proposes that a supernova explosion could have propelled this interstellar object away from its home making it the first visitor from another star system to enter ours. Some people see Oumuamua as a potential threat, similar to wandering asteroids that could potentially collide with Earth in the future. However, there's more to the story. Astronomers like Garrett Levine from Yale University have an intriguing theory that Oumuamua might be made up of ice fragments that were expelled from the rocky disks around distant planets. These fragments regularly make their way into our solar system as interstellar debris. According to this perspective, Oumuamua would resemble comets, showing signs of vaporization and illumination as they travel through our solar system. While it may seem reasonable to categorize Oumuamua in this way, there is a discrepancy between the predictions of astronomers and the actual characteristics of interstellar debris. Therefore, we cannot definitively identify Oumuamua as interstellar debris because it doesn't match the initially proposed description of a comet-like object. But what if this inconsistency is intentional? Is there other evidence supporting the idea that Oumuamua is indeed interstellar debris? At the moment, Oumuamua cannot simply be considered an ordinary fragment of a destroyed planet, mainly because of its non-gravitational acceleration. However, let's leave that topic aside for now. As the story continues to unfold, the quest to determine the true nature of Oumuamua as an interstellar object is far from over. Scientists have put forward even more astonishing speculations that are sure to capture your imagination. Some suggest that Oumuamua may be an interstellar comet or asteroid, which is a topic of intense debate among researchers. However, Things become even more intriguing when renowned astronomers like Avi Loeb claim that Oumuamua represents something far more awe-inspiring. A purposely built spacecraft belonging to an alien civilization that has traveled vast distances to study us. But how likely is this hypothesis? We will explore the available facts and evidence shortly. First, let's delve into the ongoing debate among astronomers and scientists with some leaning towards Oumuamua being an interstellar comet, while others argue for it being an interstellar asteroid. So, is Oumuamua an asteroid, a comet, or perhaps an alien spacecraft? Let's examine the arguments regarding Oumuamua's classification as a comet or an asteroid. Comets are icy bodies made up of frozen gases, rocks, and dust that orbit the sun. While their sizes may vary, most comets are said to be similar in size to a small town when frozen. As comets get closer to the sun in their orbits, they heat up rapidly, releasing a trail of dust and gas that forms a magnificent glowing tail, sometimes rivaling the size of a planet. This process significantly increases the comet's acceleration. However, this is where Oumuamua differs significantly, as it doesn't show any visible signs of a coma the part of a comet that forms a tail or a hazy cloud while orbiting the sun. Observations conducted by Karen J. Meech revealed no gas emission from Oumuamua, not even the CN gas that is typically released when comets expel water. Comets contain a substantial amount of water, which becomes visible as it is expelled due to the heat of the sun. Oumuamua, on the other hand, didn't exhibit any of these characteristics, ruling out its classification as a comet. Another distinguishing factor is Oumuamua's unusually high reflectivity compared to regular comets. While comets typically have a reflectivity of around 4%, Oumuamua had a reflectivity of approximately 10%, 
indicating a different thermal composition. Now let's consider the possibility of Oumuamua being an asteroid. Asteroids are small rocky bodies that come in various sizes and shapes, orbiting the Sun. In this case, Oumuamua's elongated and elongated shape sets it apart from primarily spherical asteroids. Additionally, Oumuamua's non-gravitational acceleration, along with other peculiar behaviors, further distinguishes it from typical asteroids. Therefore, classifying Oumuamua as an asteroid would be highly unusual. Is there a possibility of Oumuamua being an alien spacecraft? And what does Neil deGrasse Tyson think about that? After considering all other possible explanations and dismissing them, there remains a strong possibility that this enigmatic object originates from beyond Earth. This notion is championed by daring astronomers like Avi Loeb, a highly regarded scientist from Harvard. Surprisingly, even the chief of the Pentagon's UFO office has voiced support for this audacious idea. He boldly suggests the existence of an extraterrestrial mothership lurking within our solar system. Adding to the disconcerting nature of this theory, it is speculated that these otherworldly beings may be deploying microscopic probes, resembling dandelion seeds, to meticulously investigate the planets and celestial bodies in our cosmic neighborhood. The coordinated activities of this hypothetical interstellar spacecraft bear resemblance to our own space missions launched from Earth to gather and analyze data. Recent reports have unveiled a study conducted by Sean Michael Kirkpatrick, the director of the Pentagon's All-Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, an initiative established by the Department of Defense in July 2022 to investigate interesting space objects. Kirkpatrick's findings align with those of Harvard professor Avi Loeb, who maintains a steadfast belief that Oumuamua is an extraterrestrial spacecraft created by an advanced alien civilization capable of overcoming the immense challenges such an endeavor would entail. However captivating this theory may be, it faces vehement opposition from other scientists. They argue that embarking on an interstellar space mission is entirely impractical, primarily due to the astronomical distances that must be traversed. Moreover, these skeptics strengthen their arguments by pointing out the absence of any detectable radio signals emitted by Oumuamua in previous scans. Nevertheless, one must consider the possibility that the lack of signals is a deliberate act by our interstellar neighbors, a calculated effort to remain hidden from prying eyes. Unfortunately, the truth may forever elude us. While Oumuamua has long disappeared from our view, a few notable ground-based telescopes continue to diligently track its trajectory, ensuring that it remains subject to scientific scrutiny. Stepping away from traditional science, Joe Rogan allowed his imagination to roam freely when contemplating Oumuamua. Known for his curiosity and open-mindedness, Rogan entertained the idea that this mysterious object traversing space might hold greater significance than what meets the eye. It could certainly be a natural phenomenon, but what if it represents a cosmic message from extraterrestrial beings, urging us humans to venture further into the unknown? This mind-boggling concept suggests that the universe is far more intricate than our current understanding. It raises the question, are we prepared to decipher such potential messages? And what implications would they hold for our future? Rogan took it even further by pondering whether Oumuamua could be a form of test to gauge our technological and scientific progress. In contrast, Neil deGrasse Tyson has taken on the responsibility of actively exploring and explaining the intricacies and potential implications of Oumuamua. Tyson consistently emphasizes the importance of evidence-based inquiry in his discussions about Oumuamua. He stresses the need for skepticism while exploring the fascinating idea of Oumuamua as a message. This approach embodies the beauty of scientific exploration, where extraordinary hypotheses are considered, tested, and either validated or refuted. Tyson suggests that Oumuamua might be an interstellar emissary. Instead of being a mere probe or artifact, could it be a vessel carrying representatives from a distant star system? While this theory may sound like science fiction, Tyson argues that we must consider all possibilities, no matter how far-fetched they may seem. After all, the universe is vast, ancient, and brimming with wonders yet to be uncovered. Tyson's contemplation of Oumuamua as either an interstellar emissary or a mere cosmic coincidence 
showcases the depth of his scientific inquiry. His approach blends wonder, skepticism, and rigorous scientific analysis. It challenges our understanding of life in the universe, the nature of celestial objects, and our place in the cosmic tapestry. The implications of Tyson's theories are far-reaching, spanning from technological advancements to philosophical introspection. They disrupt conventional astrophysical theories and have the potential to reshape our comprehension of the cosmos. If any of his theories prove true, they would signify a significant paradigm shift and propel us into a new era of space exploration. The implications of a massive celestial object like Oumuamua crashing into Earth would be profound and potentially catastrophic. Given its size and speed, the impact would release an enormous amount of energy, causing widespread destruction on a global scale. The immediate effects would include a massive explosion upon impact, creating a crater and ejecting debris into the atmosphere. The resulting shockwave would trigger seismic activity, leading to earthquakes and tsunamis in coastal areas. The release of debris and dust into the atmosphere would block sunlight, causing a significant drop in temperature and disrupting the global climate. The impact would also generate a massive fireball, igniting widespread fires that would further contribute to the destruction. The environmental consequences would be devastating, affecting ecosystems, agriculture, and water sources. The long-term effects would be equally catastrophic. The dust and debris thrown into the atmosphere would block sunlight for an extended period, leading to a global decrease in photosynthesis and a decline in food production. The resulting darkness and cold temperatures would disrupt ecosystems, leading to the extinction of many species. The impact would also release large amounts of toxic gases and chemicals, polluting the air, water, and soil. Thanks for watching. While you're still here, click on the other videos you see on your screen right now.